Hey guys, it's a Star Wars Celebration weekend, so to get you all caught up without delay, here's your top five biggest gaming stories of the week. Number five, brush up on your shredding skills, because Activision announced Guitar Hero Live. It's expected to release this fall and will be developed by Freestyle Games, the X makers of DJ Hero. The game will cost you $99 on either platform, Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360, PS3, and Wii U. The biggest change in gameplay is the new first-person perspective. Good thing I don't have stage fright. <laughs> Number four, gamers, Bloodborne is the bane of our existence, but it looks like we love the pain so much as Bloodborne has sold a total one million copies worldwide. Within two weeks of launch, the Sony Worldwide Studios new IP smashed through the milestone and even got a congrats from head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. Number three, Mortal Kombat X has taken over our lives and it's been revealed players can now purchase two add-on packs for easy fatalities. With real world money, you can purchase five fatalities for a dollar or 30 for five dollars. Good to know, but I prefer to keep a level playing field when I play. Number two, Star Ocean 5 was the surprise of the week as it was confirmed the franchise would make a triumphant return on PS4 and PS3. Officially titled Star Ocean 5 Integrity and Faithlessness, the game is set on an uncivilized planet called Fake Lead, 6,000 light years away from Earth with a seamless battle system taking place in real time. And number one, no surprise that with Star Wars Celebration comes Star Wars Battlefront news. Thanks to Microsoft game marketing lead Aaron Greedberg, who tweeted that Battlefront would be playable first on Xbox One. That's right, those with EA access will get first dibs. But that's not all of the news that we got this week. We now have a release date for the title. It will hit PC, Xbox One, and PS4 November 17th in North America and November 20th in the UK and will include its first free DLC pack a few weeks later called Battle of Jakku and set after the events of Return of the Jedi. The Force hype is real, people. And that's your top five gaming news of the week. Be sure to check out the rest of this week's Daily Fix episodes for more news and see you next week. Have a great weekend, guys.